from monkeys getting arrested for misconduct to mind-controlling mice, here are the weirdest things animals do. If you like the video, click the subscribe button and in the comments tell us what's the silliest thing you have ever seen an animal do. If you find Ned, let us know in the comments below. The Tasmanian Childhood Trauma I am sure you have seen the cartoons depicting the Tasmanian devil spinning around like a tornado. This orny marsupial has been considered a rarity due to the way they have to survive childhood. From the moment a little Joey is born, other 50 of its siblings are born as well. The newborn babies are no larger than a grain of rice and have to race to the marsupial pouch the distance of about 3 inches. In proportion, a couple of football fields for us adult humans. Only four of these little devils will make it to the mammalian glands, where they will latch for the next three months. The other 46, unfortunately, will perish within a couple of minutes. The old-fashioned family values. Having one mate for life is not the most common thing in the animal kingdom. You may have heard of the swans and other birds, but it's not very common in mammals. A good example is the foxes who stay with their mates until the babies are ready to be on their own. But that's as far as monogamy goes. Mice for life should be the part of the wedding vows of the California mice. These little critters made for life, and according to research, a genetic analysis of offsprings of about 27 families of mice confirmed that each of the little babies belonged to the monogamous set of parents. But I am going to tell you a little dirty secret. It's almost like mind control. Another study found that the reason why they're very faithful to one another is that the female secretes pheromones via the urine that charms the males to stick around and help take care of the babies. That's all I can say about that. The Vegetarian Piranhas We have been told for ages to be careful with piranhas. They can eat a horse in a matter of minutes. And I am sure you have seen the videos about the Amazon River where fishermen rail in a fish that by the time it arrives to the end of the fishing line, well, there are only bones left. Although that does happen, not all piranhas are the same. A new mega piranha called the tambaki eats over 50 pounds and he likes to eat flesh. Not of animals, but of fruits. This herbivore was discovered less than five years ago and has been noted as it likes to scavenge the fallen fruits from trees. What makes this beast so worth mentioning is that due to its diet and traveling behavior of several kilometers before eliminating its digestive food, it has been reported to be the best animal in the Amazon to spread seeds and therefore increase biodiversity more so than fruit-eating birds and mammals such as monkeys. One fish can spread seeds from over 20 plants and it has been measured over 700,000 seeds in a single excretion. Monkey floss. Keeping up with hygiene, it's a normal trait for many creatures. Think of the pigs who roll over the mud. We know it's to shield their skin from the harmful solar rays as well as to detoxify their bodies since they don't have sweat glands. But besides the normal body cleansing and prevention, have you ever heard of any animals flossing? Well, at least there is one, the ape. Yeah, these intelligent animals have figured out how to keep their pearly whites shining. Observations of about 50 macaques in the Buddhist temples of Laburi in Thailand have been seen plucking hairs from tourists and using them to floss. Since macaques are venerated, no one actually minds it. Cameras have revealed that macaque mothers floss even more when babies are present. That's to teach the little ones how to do it right. A love song. Singing to others have been a sign of affection and love. In many Latin countries, it's popular to serenade a loved one on special occasions and even further, have the groom serenade the bride the night before the wedding. But this is another level of serenades even more complex than the bird singing to attract a mate. The rodent choir, to be more exact, is what we're talking about here, like the mice in Cinderella movie singing. It was previously thought that mice had one calling and repeated it over and over. 
but new research found a complete playlist of songs, anything from the classics to made-up as-you-go tunes. Once a male smells a female, he will start singing to show his worthiness. If the tune is catchy, the female will actually join in. Unfortunately, the human ear is not apt to listening to this since it's in the ultrasonic range. Monkey goes bananas. Who will ever think that an animal will ever get in trouble with the law? But the following story will prove that very wrong. During a beautiful Florida day, a man named Brad was having a walk with his capuchin monkey. You know, very normal, I guess. When someone decided to pet Mookie, the monkey. And that's when mayhem happened. The monkey must have woken up on the wrong side of the tree because the critter went ape on the touchy man and bit him. Mookie was turning 20 and had to spend his special day on house arrest. I guess monkeys, like humans, get cranky when they are about to celebrate their birthdays. North Facing Eating Usually, when we eat, we are either at home in front of the TV or with our family or on a restaurant. The North or South Pole facing does not equate in our decision to eat at all. But there are animals who actually have to face North or South to eat. Cows do. It has not been discovered why, but according to some research, cows like to align their bodies with the electromagnetic field when munching on grass. It has also been analyzed that deer do the same. But they are not navigating like birds do, so... All the research shed some light and said that although cows and deer don't do the north and south thing in larger herds, such positioning is a leftover trait from when their ancestors migrated. Sing me a lullaby. As we already heard, animals communicate not only with displays of plumage or with their full body language. Many sing their little hearts out like the mice. But how about giraffes? If I ask you to make the sound of a cow, would you know it? How about a giraffe? Hmm. Until recently, there was no record sound made by giraffes, even in distress, until research of the University of Vienna placed microphones all over the enclosures of many European zoos. What they found was incredible. Giraffes don't seem to say much during the day, but once night falls, the humming begins. It seems like giraffes like to hum to one another, and even though it's a very low frequency, it can be heard by the human ear. Sniff your way home. We already know birds can migrate thousands of miles home just by aligning with the electromagnetic field. Others like the elephants have great memories and almost seem to have a GPS installed on their brains. But how about marine animals? Sharks have been known to get home and navigate the ocean for over thousands of miles as if they were road signs in the vast empty space. It was discovered that they sniff their way home. A research for the University of California did a bizarre experiment that supports the idea of amazing sniffing skills. The researchers gathered several wild leopard sharks and moved them about five miles away from their homes. Then, they plugged their noses with cotton and let them loose facing the opposite way home. The sharks with no cotton returned home without a problem. On the other hand, the sharks with cotton on their snouts swam aimlessly until their noses were free again to take them back home. Not all scientists believe the cotton story is true. A researcher in Hawaii said that anyone with something stuffed up their noses will wander aimlessly too. Dinner and a swim. There are many birds who swallow stones to help with digestions, like chickens do. And although it sounds bizarre, there are other animals that use stone for purposes besides breaking down the chow. The crocodile falls into the latter category of stone eaters. This is the reason why. Since crocodiles eat anything from turtles to buffaloes to other crocodiles when fighting for territory, some of the larger rocks remain in their bellies to aid with the digestion of such heavy loads. As added bonus, crocodiles use them as weights when diving into deep waters, just like a diver will do. 
no horsing around. This is kind of cute, but looking at what seems like a horse laughing will, or at least should, bring a smile to your face. But the nose is not smiling to call your attention. The reason behind the smile has to do with their sense of smell. The phlegm response is a way the horse reaches a gland located at the end of the nose and it helps them gather more information about certain smells. It has been found that males do it more often than females, and that's because the males are figuring it out if a female is on heat. Unexpected things the animals do, discovered. What else would you like to explore? Let me know and click the like button. Thank you again for watching.